but we How many bars have you had? Oh, baby, that's a secret. <laughs> okay. That's a number I can't release here online. Uh, how, 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 I don't know, below 10, more than 10? Below 100. <laughs> Baby, please let's forget from the video. Below hundred can also be below two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was not special that you present me to to your parents. Why not? I don't know if you present them hundred. They no, will just think another one in the pile. <laughs> another one in the pile. That's, I okay. didn't say a hundred. I say below a hundred. Ah, below hundred. Amazing. Okay, so ninety nine. <laughs> Why not one? It could also be one is also below a hundred. Now I look like I'm sniffing my hair. It just look like that. Uh, look at the camera. Oh, you're definitely very white. But yeah, and you're very black. That's racial. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome to another video with Lampies. Yes, we definitely wanted to address this topic. Has come up a few times. How did I introduce Ali to my parents? Yeah. Especially to my mom. That was an intense moment, to be honest. I will always remember it. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you know. Intro, you, when you are raised in an African household, mm -hmm. having a boyfriend alone is not allowed. You are obviously allowed to marry. Yeah. That is for sure. They are open to for weddings. They want, obviously, their daughters and sons to get married. Fine. Dating is not allowed. It's not allowed. In most households in Africa in general. It's just not allowed. So, first so, time... It's, it's best if you just introduce somebody when you know you're going to marry them or when you have decided. So some people would just rather keep the relationship until the marriage comes up. Then you say, oh, I want to get married to this person. Exactly. So, okay. So you have to imagine the first time that I went to Namibia and I first met the Lempi's parents, I actually, we actually we were not married. And that I think was already really strange for your family just that you call them and say i'm going to come visit and i'm taking with me my boyfriend how was that how how did your mother no, react that was not strange for me every serious my mother was kind of very open when it comes to relationship and talking to us about having a relationship or getting involved with a guy and things like that because i think she's a nurse and she was always like I've seen so many young girls in this village, in this small town, pregnant at a young age. Please don't do this, don't do that. So we were a little bit open. So in every serious relationship I have been before, I had always introduced my my ex-boyfriend to my mom. Not to my dad, to my mom, because my dad was also most of the time not working at home. Mm -hmm. was only there for holiday. But my mom was always there, could also come to our school and stuff. I had always said, I'm dating who or so. But now, dating you was also different because now I'm living in Europe yeah. and stuff, right? So this is my trick, how when I want to tell my mother something like this. Don't give all the information at the beginning and cut out things that you think is going to criticize. Ah, okay, so <laughs> you cut out the fact that I was white, for example? No, I didn't ask that. <laughs> we think I was going to criticize it. You no, don't know, you never know. You know. No, but you know, I, I, I present a boyfriend and then his wife. I think it would be kind of a shock for them. No. Have you ever dated somebody that was white before me? No, but my my mother worked with also people that are are not are not like uh, dark uh, dark skinned. Yeah, I so, understand. Oh, and also no other couples that are. I'm not dating people from their culture. Yeah, I know, I understand. But myself not. So the thing is, 
when I was in Kolkata, then I met you, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, there was already the story with my ex-boyfriend, and know that for a year I was single and I was crying and a year. Yes, yeah, okay. when I met you, it was already pretty much about a year after a my year. situation. Mm -hmm. Because we met in twenty twelve, and my situation okay. was in twenty eleven. It was over a year. So when this uh, everything was over, and we had a discussion with my mom, like like I think I'm ready to just you know start mingling and getting to know other people mm -hmm. and then one time i said to my mom i didn't call her though on the phone i, I w when i went home for holiday i was talking to my mom like i i'm kind of dating an italian guy i was like yeah okay and how are things going is he nice to you and stuff yes fine so it was like okay because uh, there was no marriage because i think most question would be asked if you say i'm marrying somebody mm -hmm. But this is what just did. You know, like, Mom, I'm marrying an Italian. Ooh, what? <laughs> yeah, that, that, is, that would be something else. But this time was just like, it's just dating. Has also dated other people before, so just dating. Another one. Uh, <laughs> another, another, another one in the pile. <laughs> Probably feel like that. Like, yeah, it's just dating for sure. Fine. It went by and yeah, we were went. actually just dating at the time. Yeah, we were then. also just dating. That's what I'm saying. Don't <laughs> add information that. like I'm marrying a guy and you, you know, don't put things that it's also not what it is. I was also too young to marry, I would say, because we got married like five or six years later from that point. And I went, I, I okay, then I told my mother I'm dating this guy from Italy, was also concerned to say, is he nice to you? Is he treating you well? So this is the most important thing for my mom mm. because before I had had some problem with my relationship and how it ended, was really concerned that important thing, I'm happy and you are a nice person and peaceful. Because and I'm treating you well. Yes, I needed peace because mm -hmm. I've gone through a lot before. Fine. Everything was kind of okay. And we just call, we we'll talk when I came back to Germany and just say, hi, how is your boyfriend? And what is his name? And I said Alex, but didn't get it. Just said Alex. <laughs> so I still say Alex. But I, okay, I think now it says Alex, but before I just saying Alex. So the most important problem came when I said to my mom, Oh, you know, my boyfriend from Italy invited me to go with him to Italy. That was like, no, that is not happening. He's ah, going to really? kidnap you. No, <laughs> <Yes>. why? <laughs> why kidnapping? I don't know. I was like, he just want to kidnap you. And you know, it's one of those things when I say, be a little bit cautious when you're telling your parents stuff. So I didn't tell them when, when I got the ticket or things like that. I told, I told her when I was already on the way to the airport and then I was super scared. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, don't go. Don't, I was already don't on the go. way on the train. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I am maybe then when you took the flight, okay, can I go out now? <laughs> no, I was, I was not even before the flight. I was really nervous. Like, this guy is going to kidnap you. You're never going to come back home. You're never going to come back to Germany. I'm really nervous. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't so, yeah. go. So I got off the train. I got off the train and it's going to kidnap. Why should I kidnap you? I don't know. I just scared. Maybe I've seen scary people. Okay. But I was just. Italian guy. Was really bad like, guy. Maybe it had about mafia. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, uh, dating was just fine. But when I said I'm going to see it, you invited me to Italy, was like, no, no. So I got off the train in the airport, right? It's time to check in and all these things. And I'm calling my friend. Esther, like, I'm super nervous. I'm coming home. I'm not going to see my mother. Also said I shouldn't be going. <laughs> okay, that's why you were not really happy when I came taking yeah. you up from the airport. Yeah, so no, like, I understand. No, I'm really in panic and panic. Maybe I, I just want to kidnap me. And Esther was like, "Oh, that's how they look. I somebody can kidnap this." <laughs> this phase. But I think, to be honest, that was probably the. It's it's best if you just take the the person to. To your parents and they get to see him face to face that when yeah. you tell when you tell them on the phone because my mother was really nervous but anyway i went and i i said anyway i'm already at the airport i'm going and was calling me every single morning when i was uh, in italy like good morning are you fine good evening how are you still alive uh, how is the family treating you I was always asking me 
Oh, are you able to go back? Are you kidnapped? <laughs> <laughs> Should I send down uh, money for uh, <laughs> I don't know what super super consent, for right? Award. And then mm-hmm. I came back and everything went back to normal. Fine. Yeah, I also remember that I was really um, really nervous the first time that I met your parts because I wanted to do like a give a good impression ah. and do Bella Figura as I always said. And uh, basically, I don't know, I, there, there was a little bit of tension because I remember we entered the gate uh, and... Ah, you remember this thing? Yes, I remember ah, these wow, things. Wow. Uh, I entered the gate and then, I mean, I think the first, uh, the first that came was your mother and then later I met your father because I was ah, not at the house. we arrived very then. late. Yeah, we arrived so late that we, they didn't met uh, your father right away. You know, I was sleeping or everybody was going to bed. My mother came and yes. the, the, the lady was helping at the house. They were still awake waiting for us. I remember. Yes. Yeah, no, so I remember. We, we just briefly met and then uh, we we went to sleep and we woke up the, the, the next morning and I woke up in the villa the next mo- the morning that I, I didn't, didn't see know. how the villas I, look like when No, you because there. we arrived really, really, really late that we couldn't even see. There was no light and at your house at the time there was not uh, electricity so I couldn't recognized any I went out of my room and I was okay now <laughs> how do I go outside how do I, go out? I had so many questions like uh, where should I go if I need to pee or you know uh, what is the introduction was coming yeah so all these kind of things I was embarrassed to do or <laughs> anything or to ask for anything I was like okay what I need I water do? no there's no water here this on your malobo yeah <laughs> But it was nice experience. Oh, where should I go wash my hands? <laughs> yeah, but it was a nice experience. It was nice. Overall. We had also my niece will always stay. Yeah, that was nice. Also, meeting your your grandmother uh, was really a nice experience with all the granny because I was. <laughs> Yes, exactly. That was the problem. So we went to the granny's house and uh, she was like, oh, this is my granny. granny. Oh, one, no, granny you number. didn't specify that. You were just, you know, going around. This is my granny. And then again, okay, this is my granny. Okay, but this is not the same person. That <laughs> and, and then this again, is these are our granny. granny because there are three uh, sisters living in the same household and, uh, you yeah. know, so they are all my but they are all amazing these ladies they, uh, they were so cheerful to me and they were dancing and were singing to me but uh, they were welcoming they were welcoming really a lot it was amazing I think that's this the memory point. is still really warming my heart oh, my really? heart yes ah the dinner part the dinner part here. yes also Rio amazing when we in Osas uh, for two nights also because another thing is we couldn't sleep for more than two two nights uh, at Lempi's house because we were not married at the time so the first two nights we slept uh, in the Lempi's house the second two nights the second two nights uh, we slept at your grandmother's house I think yes and then at Cleo's and uh, grandmother's house yes and then at Cleo's house the last two nights so we said yes yeah. now let me, I think you all know if you're African, most African obviously from the Christian part, they will never want to have, it's, it's not like they wouldn't want to have, but you know in African villages they gossip. So each parent, they are concerned about, oh my goodness, our neighbors are going to think that I'm a bad parent if I allow you to stay here with your husband for so long and they know that you're not married. So they were like that. And then they're like, no, rather just stay two nights and then go stay in your uncle's house. Because my uncle is young and doesn't care mm. about this thing. Like, go stay in your uncle's house, which is just next to them. Yeah, so but <laughs> I remember that you really you really were pissed when they told you that we couldn't stay fixed at your house. I remember yes. this, this call, you were really sad. Because uh, I was sad because... This is also something that we've spoken before. I was said because this is also not honestly African culture. Mm, really? This is Christianity. Ah, okay. This is not African. This is Christianity. Mm-hmm. Because now our neighbor, we are Christian and obviously we should not allow our pastor. So this is why I was, I, I was thinking, and I think these are things that also people should change a bit because like I understand it makes sense if I'm 16 and I just want to be sleeping with my boyfriend in your the house, house, right? Mm-hmm. We are talking about a 27-year-old woman. Mm-hmm. 
who has been dating somebody for some times or because they would also allow that person to get married so it's not like an underage girl that yeah. makes it so in in and the other thing, there's no other reason why they are refusing it other than Christianity. So this, the issue of Christianity kind of always, uh, it doesn't go well with me because I always feel like it's also a system that was introduced to us during the colonial time that has just stuck with us for yes. so long. While people who have introduced this system to us have kind of adjusted the system that it fits their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. But for us, it has not been adjusted. It, 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 it makes sense if I'm dating my neighbor mm -hmm. and I just want to introduce you to my neighbor. But if I'm dating somebody from Nigeria, then it doesn't make sense. And, and again, this is Christianity. It's not like the African culture. This is the issue that was introduced by Christianity. Okay. And this is the thing that I was also, you know, I just said to my mom, you know, just think about it. We have one life to live. If your pastor, because I was telling me the pastor or the neighbor, so my one question is, if your pastor, mm -hmm. the head of the church, is, is is making decisions in their household, do they consider what you're going to think about it? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So because I think sometimes the pastors are taking things way, way, way off. Way over. Other than just preaching the message of God and trying also people to leave. They say, we can't forgive. So why this cannot be forgiven? Anyways, yes, that was it. However, I think in general it went well. It could yeah. be more complicated. Yeah, no, we are lucky. I got yes. really great. We great, never uh, had anything like no, you know, the like, people were pissed at you or anything like that. Yeah, everybody was. Welcome. I have a great family in law can complain. They a are big all one amazing. also. Really big. You that can make a party. <laughs> you can make a party. I told you, you still have to make this list of name and tell me yeah. everybody who is. Yeah, that's a problem. You need to know Meme, you need to know Kuku, and you need to know Tatekulu. You are done that's with it. everybody. So, is your father now Tatekulu for me? No, that's Tate. Is it's your father? father? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So, it's like if you call my mother Meme, you have to call my father Tate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tatekulu is everybody else then around me, but mm -hmm. from mother and father. Anyway, guys, that was it from us today. Beautiful memories. Yeah, beautiful memories. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification uh, button if you want to uh, be always updated with our new videos. And if you like the video, you can also share it with your friends, to be honest.